The following is a presentation of TFNN. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the February 21st fantastic Friday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools, well, just simply the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that's what it's all about. Let's make this a great weekend. Let's go look at one of our tools, one of my favorite tools. It's called Your Hidden Treasure. You know, W.G. Montgomery wrote about two brothers who landed in New York in 1845. The older brother had learned the trade of making sauerkraut back in Germany. Now, hearing of the possible fortunes to be made in America, he set out for California where land was cheap. His goal was to grow cabbage, make the cabbage into sauerkraut, and begin a business. His venture was successful, and eventually he bought additional land, planted more cabbage, made more money, and was content with his life. Now, the younger brother, the younger brother remained in New York, working the day and attending school at night, taking a course in geology. Now, he learned about the rocks and soil. Years had passed, and one day he set out for California by stagecoach to visit his brother. Upon arrival, the older brother took him into the cabbage patch to show him what great crops he had grown. The younger brother began picking up handfuls of soil, pressing it through his fingers, throwing it down and picking up more. This is mighty fine soil you have here, brother. They both walked down to a nearby stream so the younger brother could, you know, wash his hands. And while washing his hands, the younger brother reached down and picked up a handful of quartz from the bottom of the stream and pointed to a dull yellow piece. Do you know what this is? He asked his brother. The cabbage king shook his head and said, no. Looks like a bunch of rocks to me. That's gold, said the younger brother with excitement. You've been growing your cabbage on a gold mine. Truth be told, one of the richest gold mines in California was found in a cabbage patch. Folks, our mines can be just as rich in unseen resources as the cabbage patch was. There's gold in them there hills, and those hills are your mind well let's go see if we can find some gold in these markets out here right now we've got the uh, dow trading up 24 points trade out at 16,124 s&p futures are trading up three points out at 1839 the quarter nasdaq up six and a half points trade out at 3678 speaking of gold gold is up five dollars and forty cents it's trading at 13.2230 silver up six cents trading out at 21.75 light sweet crude back a quarter trading at 102.50 Natural gas, is that possible? Up 16 cents this morning. It's trade out at 621. Our call-in number is 877-927-6648. To give us a call, be happy to take a look at your stock chart. A quick peek around the globe out here. Oh, over in Asia last night, you had the uh, Nikkei up 417 points, about 2 and 8 tenths, 2 and 9 tenths percent out there. The Hang Seng up 174, a little over 3 quarters of a percent, uh, 26 points to the downside in the uh, Shanghai, off 1 percent. Right now over in Europe, uh, in Germany, the uh, DAX is up 8 points, the uh, FTSE is up 13. And let's begin our day, let's start taking, you know, it's the end of the week out here, even though it was a short trading week with 4 days. Let's begin by taking a look at the weekly charts of the uh, futures contracts. If you are listening on the radio or your mobile device at tfnn.mobi, thank you so much for doing that. Remember, you can always catch the live stream of the show. That means you can see the charts. You know, we display charts all day long here. You can see the charts by going to the homepage of tfnn.com. Upper right-hand side, you'll see a button, three little smartphone devices. Click on that. This show will stream live. And, of course, this show here is archived on Channel 9. Let's begin the day by taking a look at, I don't know, let's take a look at the uh, NASDAQ futures. Take a look at the NQ. So for the week, right now we're trading up towards the top of its range out here. If we're looking for resistance inside of the NASDAQ futures as a result of any type of candlestick, well, we don't really see that in place here. 
Uh, it's trading out at 3677. In fact, quite frankly, all we really see is bullishness here on the weekly chart of the uh, NASDAQ futures. You got this nice little hammer candle as price moved lower two uh, weeks ago. Uh, the week ended February 7th out there, and then at the end of the week, that was on uh, Thursday and Friday, the uh, bulls were able to come in. They were able to push price up. And so that means that that low of 3412, that is an important low. You break that, and that spells trouble. In fact, it spells enough trouble to take you down to the uh, swing point of October the 11th out at about the 3110. But one thing at a time right now, if you take a look at a weekly chart. Now, not a ton of movement because we began the week here inside the NASDAQ futures at a price of 3660 or 3677. So that's really not too much uh, work out there that has been done. But if we do take a look at a weekly chart here, other than being in the uh, overbought uh, uh, area, uh, there is nothing bearish on a weekly chart here on the NASDAQ futures. We take a look at the Russell 2000 here. Russell 2000 is a little bit different. Russell 2000's got this key reversal session out here, and this is important. Let's take. Let me make sure this is a key reversal session here. Let me see that low, 1138.60. This low here, yeah, it is absolutely. So, let me actually, I'll do. I'll do this here. Let's uh, let's delete this, and we'll come back. And we can add in the expansions here later. So, if we take a look at this week here, which is January 7, 2014, if you take a look at the uh, following week, you see how price moved above, both above and below the prior session out there, and then closed lower. This is obviously a market that's been in an uptrend. You get a uh, lower close. Now, it didn't have to close at the lowest se of the session. It just simply did out there. And that says that's really that's a key reversal session. It happens to be a, a bearish and golfing candle as well, and that really becomes your resistance area. So unlike the uh, NQ that we were looking at, that's got no resistance. Inside of the Russell 2000, it does. That says any break above 1181.30, that would be very bullish. If I take a look at the, also as that key reversal session was being made, it was forming a 1.618 expansion of a set of swing points. You ask which set of swing points, and I'll tell you. That set of swing points be in the high out here from November 29th at 1147.60. From that high to the low put in on December 20th out at the 1145 number. That gives you your 1.618 expansion. Of course, as the uh, price, as the market was moving lower a couple of weeks ago, uh, you see at uh, as far as swing points that were being formed out here, you had a 0.618 retracement. It was a Gartley, uh, no, it's not a Gartley pattern out here, but it was a 0.618 retracement off of its most, if, of, of its previous low swing point, which would take you back to the September 6, 2013 time frame out at 1,620 out there. So that was your point six one eight. And also, if you take it back a little bit further, I mean, back to April in 2013, you had a point three eight two retracement. So pretty strong resistance or support, I should say, down at that level. No hammer candle, unlike what we saw in the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures out here, but you did get a bullish engulfing candle last week out here. So that is a bullish sign. And that then says, because that's of bullish engulfing that that low out here on February 7th is your support level and that's at 1078 you're getting follow through here uh, this week here's where the battle of the bulls and the bears are going to come in at and that's at the 1181.30 you're at 1160.60 right now those are, that's what the weekly message of the charts are for the Russell 2000 let's take a look at the weekly chart here for the ES mini for the S&P futures right now we can see a very similar look to the uh, NASDAQ with regard to the hammer candle that formed here two weeks ago. That was February 7th. That low of 1732, that's an important low. Uh, to be focused on, uh, what we can see there is that was only a .382 retracement of its previous swing point low back in October of 2013. That says, quite frankly, that any move above the highs out here, let me see where the highs come in, 1846.50, 18. 46, it's 1846.50. There you go. That happens to be the uh, week of uh, January 3rd out here. So 1846.50. If we see it close, near at 1838.25. So today, if you had a close above 1846.50, now, what you'd have to be dealing with from a volume standpoint, there were 3 million contracts during that uh, January 3rd time frame. So far this week, we're at about 4.3 million. Wow, you've got volume in it this week, and we've got a shortened trading week. So that's important. That's Hey, I'm glad we're looking at the weekly charts. Thank for, thanks for asking me to do that. Because if you were to see it close today in the futures contract of 1846.50, it actually sets up an A to B equal, would confirm an A to B equals CD to the upside here. And that would be a doozy out here. At, uh, so let's go measure what that would actually look like. And why do I say it's a doozy? 
Because it is. And I like the word doozy, don't you? If we take a look at the uh, dooziness of this S&P on a weekly chart, 1938.95, so it's 1939 out there, that would be your one-to-one A to B equals CD. But the reality is, as I take a look at it, with the information that we have at our fingertips right now, if that... If that B point gets taken out today with volume, it says 1994, 1994, maybe 1995 out there. So that's going to be an important high for us to be paying attention to and watching. Remember, this is a weekly chart, so it's not going to make that kind of move here overnight or anything like that. But 1846.50 on the weekly charts is very important for us to uh, be paying attention to. So far, 1844.50. Now, let's just take a look at the mere fact if it doesn't get over today. Well, what we do know is it's coming into a swing point with volume. And that's a positive thing. That's actually a bullish bias out there. And that is on the ES Mini. Should have looked at the weekly chart sooner than this, shouldn't I have? Anyways, let's go take a look at the, let's uh, finish this off by taking a look at the uh, Dow futures out here. Dow futures for the week, a little high wave uh, candle out here. just means it's lost its way. Of course, the day is not done, but it also has a nice little uh, hammer candle down here. Formed two weeks ago. You got follow through last week. Uh, this week taking a bit of a breather out here. Uh, this says uh, resistance is uh, really the swing point high. If we take a look at retracements, I believe it's only a .618 retracement that it is at. Well, it's actually above the .618 retracement level. That says that it wants to get at least to 16270. You're at 16134 right Right now, but a 16,270 that happens to take you into the swing point or very close to the January 3rd swing point out there. That low is 16,336. Very bullish would be a close inside 16,336. Does not necessarily have to be today, but uh, if it did, that would be very bullish for the uh, week out there. So that is on the weekly charts here for the Dow or for for the Dow and for all four of our uh, uh, futures uh, contracts that we take a look at. So Nasdaq futures say bullish. ES Mini says, hey, I'm moving into a swing point with volume. Take it out. Big A to B equals CD up. Russell 2000, Dow, they're just kind of maybe tagging along for the ride. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. For your viewing pleasure, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Traditionally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's uh, stay on these uh, weekly charts out here. Let's go take a look at what's going on inside the uh, commodity uh, sector out here. Now, it's a daily chart. First, that uh, pops up on our screen here for uh, gold. It's trading up uh, about 6 bucks at 13.22 and some change out here. But let's just take a look at the uh, weekly chart. should have the weekly chart out here on my uh, screen here momentarily. We can see about the weekly chart number one. You can see that uh, Goldilocks has broken through its descending price channel. So, uh, you know, truly off of the bottom. Uh, bottom here without any uh, doubt. Uh, in fact, I got through there. It's, it's really a textbook, uh, a textbook on a weekly uh, chart out here. It's just a textbook example of what you like to see when price breaks a uh, break, uh, breaks a trend. In this case here, we're using channel lines. You like to see price. In this case here, it was a downtrend channel. And this is a channel that takes you back into the uh, October 2012 time frame. Price breaks through it does the week of January 24th, comes back and uh, tests that level the week of January 31st out here, and then boom, takes off that following week, the week of February 7th. Now what we have seen here, if we just take a look at, the, and as it was doing that, as it was making its low, it was making a one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD down, so it completed that pattern to the uh, downside out here. Uh, the only bearish candle that uh, existed uh, in this uh, week, in this uh, move off of the bottom, meaning coming off of the uh, January 3rd lows out here, happened to be the uh, week of uh, January 31st, little uh, bearish engulfing that candle that immediately was erased the very following week. That was a, a bearish engulfing candle as price was coming back and testing the uh, descending price channel. Uh, it's out of there. Uh, it is totally out of there. Now, look, you had a, a key reversal session here inside of Goldilocks week of November 11th. So that's really where your resistance area is, which is the high of 1361.80. For the week right now, what we can say about this is that that's, our, so that's also a swing point out there. So gold is trading inside that level the low is 1305.60 that says that the high is likely to be tested 1361.80 out there uh, at 1337 happens to be our 0.618 retracement if we take a look at uh, this week's candle thus far it is just simply a, a spinning top out there neither bullish nor bearish most certainly not bearish so you got resistance you're inside the swing point says uh, chances are you're going to go test at 1361.80 the only thing that would change that meaning would be Today, it closed below 1305.60, closing outside of the uh, swing point. So that's the weekly chart there for Goldilocks. Let's go check out uh, silver here. You've got silver trading up six cents out at 2174. But let's go take a look at the the daily chart. Shows that uh, the 200-day exponential moving average still re is uh, remaining as a resistance level. Uh, nonetheless, so let's take a look at the uh, weekly chart out here. I should have a weekly chart. 
Give me a moment here. So on the weekly chart, what we see here is uh, the trend line. So I think I just show. Uh, maybe it's the channel line. Give me a moment here. It is. Uh, it's really the uh, trend line inside of uh, silver. And this is coming off of the October fifth, two thousand and twelve level. Uh, that high was taken out last week. Nice wide ranging bar, as we all know. That uh, being accomplished uh, on uh, third, primarily on uh, Thursday of last week. If we take a look at retracements here, coming off of the uh, swing point high from August thirtieth down to the low that was put in here on January 3rd out here. You're above the .382 level. You kind of slice through it like carry gold butter. really says that silver wants to make a run for 2267 So, And if we go back to the daily chart, there's really nothing bearish about the daily chart. There's just resistance. You know, it's like uh, flying and you're running into some turbulence or what have you. So silver right now is just trying to look for some clean air. What we can also say is that the uh, key reversal session, bearish engulfing candle from the week of November 1st out here, that's what it's trading into so that's your swing point 203,000 uh, contracts uh, there you're coming into it this week here or 231. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's good. So you're coming into a swing point with volume. So long as silver closes above 2170, what it really does is it says that 2309 is its next mark out there. 22.67 is that uh, 0.618 retracement level. So all it's got to do is just clear that overhead resistance, find some clean air, and then you ought to see silver make a, a beeline for the 2309 type area. If you can take that level out, well, then it's going to go up and Make a 100% move of a move and take you up to the $25.12 range. That is the weekly chart. That's what the weekly chart of silver is communicating to us. Uh, light sweet crude over the last couple days has pulled back a bit. There's nothing really bearish here about the uh, candle uh, signals. Yesterday being a doji, just simply, uh, not, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a daily chart, a doji candle out there. It just simply says that resistance is up at the uh, 103.80 mark out here. But let's look for the uh, weekly chart, see if I've got a weekly chart. And if I don't, we're going to make, there we go. I was going to say we'd make a weekly chart. Now, if we take a look at, uh, here's Lightsweet Crude on a weekly basis. We can see huge consolidation uh, pattern. But what we also see is it is making higher lows. This is making higher lows all the way up. Uh, that's including the lows that were recently put in here back in uh, January. Uh, right now, we have made, this has made Lightsweet Crude on a weekly basis on the continuous contract. It's made it up to the .618 level, right around the 104.22 level. Right now, Dow Futures up 19, S&P Futures up 3. We'll be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. We got, uh, well, the Dow's not out of the gate. Wake up the Dow. It's up seventy cents. S and P is up a buck thirty two. Composite up twelve dollars. Trade out at forty two seventy nine. Russell two thousand up four points. Apple on the move. Top side up a dollar eighty two. Microsoft up seventeen cents. Google up a buck forty six. Cisco up twelve pennies. Intel up twelve cents. Priceline dot com up forty six dollars right now. Off to a new hemisphere out here. Uh, it is up three and a half percent. They were out with uh, numbers after the uh, bell, and uh, we'll go take a look at that stock chart. Farmer Cyclics having a very nice morning. PCYC is the uh, ticker symbol. They also released numbers. Total revenues, $123 million versus 57 Boy, that's a nice move there. That is a 100%, uh, a little bit more than 100% uh, increase in revenue in their fourth quarter. Net income, $64 million versus $42 million out there. So they are on the uh, move top side. you got Emeritus, Emeritus Corp, ESC is a ticker symbol. They're up 37%. Maybe there is a, a buyout or merger. Let me see what we got here. Brookdale Senior Living to merge with Emeritus. All right, so that's what we've got going on there. You've got Comscope Holding, C-O-M-M. -M. That's up 20% here this morning. They released numbers as well. Uh, their uh, first quarter revenue, okay, I don't have it. Net sales, 846 million versus 848, so just slightly missing the uh, top line. Uh, looks like their fourth quarter loss. Maybe widen just a, a bit. Now, five cents versus, yeah, it, well, yeah, I'd say widen a bit. They went to a five cent loss versus seven cent uh, profit out there. Nonetheless, they are trading higher. You've got ISIS Pharmaceuticals, ISIS, up 7% this morning, up $3.81. Amazon, up 3.46. That's up 1%. Dexcom, DXCM, that is up 6.5% this morning, up $2.81 on a reported loss of 2.6 million versus 8.5 million loss the uh, prior a year out there. Revenues of 51 million versus 33, so they are growing their top line. To the uh, downside here, we've got the Mohawk getting the Mohawk this morning. They are down 3.5%. They're off $5. Uh, dollars, uh, yeah, they're off five bucks. Uh, let me see what their uh, numbers were. They reported earnings of 94 million versus 66. Nice job there. Uh, net sales, 1.9 billion. 
Verse one point four, boy, uh, they have really uh, they killed the uh, they killed the numbers. Uh, that's fundamentally what they did. But I will tell you, fundamentally, with regard to what the shareholders are doing, they're saying, "Sorry, Kai Bosch." We'll go see if, in fact, there is a uh, any kind of volume behind the move. Charter Communications that's off about uh, seven bucks this morning, down five and a half percent. They two release numbers, uh, their fourth quarter revenues two billion versus one point nine, so they beat the uh, top line. Bottom line, thirty nine million versus a. Uh, uh, wow, $39 million income versus a $40 million loss from the uh, prior quarter. Uh, still, nonetheless, they are getting taken to the uh, cleaners here this morning. You got Fleetwood Mac. No, it's called Fleet Maddox Group, FLTX. They're also getting uh, nailed to the uh, to the wall here, down 12%, down uh, 5 bucks out here. They are guiding, well, let me see, what's their revenue? Let me see if I can see what their... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's not popping up on my screen. Does not matter. They are getting hammered this morning. Express Script, same deal out here. They're down five percent off three eighty. They generated revenues of twenty five point seven billion versus twenty seven point three from the prior year, uh, from the prior quarter of the last year. Uh, so they have missed their uh, top line. I don't see the bottom line numbers out there. Uh, you've got. Let me see here. Boy, number of, number of folks just getting. Just getting crushed this morning. Uh, NCMI, National Cinema Media, that is down 14% this morning on revenues of $122 million versus 115 So they uh, beat the top line. Net income, $19 million versus a loss of a half a million. Boy, fundamentally good. Fundamentally, with regard to shareholders, not so good out there. Uh, 877-927-6648. Let's take a, a quick peek here. I mentioned uh, we were taking a look at the weekly chart. It's always good to, again, get your head wrapped around, hey, what's really going on for the week out here? And we take a look at Light Sweet Crude. I mentioned, you know, it's been making uh, higher lows out here. And I've just drawn in on my chart here, a little rising price channel. Takes you all the way back. So you can see this is a price channel takes you back into the 2009 time frame out here. And so it's, in essence, I probably would rework this a, a little bit, but just for the radio show right now, it's actually pretty good uh, rising price channel out here. So it says that uh, right now, uh, you know, the, the bottom of that price channel, which we saw it get tested, was back in January 2014 when it uh, opened up at right around the $94 type range out there. So it has bounced off that uh, price channel just as it has really since the 2009 time frame. So the key is the next time you see, uh, and this is important for us to watch, right, because if you see a close below, not an interest day cycle uh, spike or what have you because it's a weekly chart that we're looking at but a close below that rising price channel since it's been in place since 2009 would be some serious uh, some something very serious to uh, consider out there otherwise if you're on the short side uh, of, uh, of a light speed crude and I don't really recommend that as we speak here at the moment not that I don't see that pattern but if you were you would uh, you'd want to take a look at exiting that short at the bottom of that price so if you trade if you trade light speed crude because this price channel here is so good and so solid, please make sure you get access. This is a continuous contract that we're looking at here because this thing has held as a support out there. So looks like Light Sweet Crude 10422, if you can clear that area, ought to make a, a run. In fact, here's the swing point that it's dealing with, which is the week of uh, September 30th, 2013. 4.8 million contracts. You're trading inside that right now with uh, light volume, most certainly. Uh, but boy, you trade inside that, you close inside that. That actually says you could run up to the 107 ish type range but we'll take things one moment at a time let's go take a look at some of these uh, stocks here that are uh, popping and then the stocks that are just getting pummeled this morning here uh, price line that's up 40 bucks uh, again that's a uh, that's one of those stock charts when you put it up on the screen here I'll do that I think I've got this in the core holdings area I believe we took a look at a weekly chart here sometime during this week we saw that it was completing a a to b equals CD pattern on a weekly chart but I believe the the indication was that it was going to run higher out there because I, I, I do remember saying you're not going to believe where this says it's going to actually move to. But uh, let's go let's go put that chart up on my uh, screen here. Yeah. So I told you that uh, it was completing the 13.18.44, and we looked at the chart and I said, okay, because I do consider myself to be a master of the uh, C to D leg out here. And that being said, I said so. Priceline is communicating to us it wants to run up to 15.26.88, give or so. 
And so uh, now it's got to clear this 13, 16 area. But on a, a weekly chart, this thing is a strong like bull out there, and that's no bull. Let's take a look here at uh, Shutterstock. That's up 20% here this morning. Uh, that just jumped into the uh, fray. Let's see, is this a buyout? What do we have going on? Oh, just a release of numbers out here. Revenues of $68 million versus 49 out here. S Shutterstock is SSTK is the uh, ticker symbol. So this thing is uh, up nice. Is this an IPO? No, it's not an IPO. I didn't think it was an IPO. So this thing is taken out a B point, most certainly a swing point out here from... Uh, January 8th, that was at 89.39. You're taking that with uh, volume, 178,000 shares on that uh, swing point. And uh, this thing is uh, up over with 193,000 already today. So, whoosh. Not too shabby. So now this is this is a heck of an IPO, isn't it? Take a look at this, folks. Comes back. Uh, IPOs is uh, on, uh, October 11, 2012. Debut is around 21.28 to 22.90 out there. You're at 97 bucks. October, boy, that's uh, what is that? Uh, in 18 months, you've uh, gone, you've uh, gone a 400 percent uh, return out there. So, and this thing is up today with some uh, volume. This thing really broke out, though. The big breakout on, uh, inside this equity took place all the way back here, the day of September 20th, 2013. You talk about wide price spread, accelerated volume. You don't get any wider price spread and accelerated volume than that. Big volume, 3.3 million shares behind the move. Look, on a conservative basis, the conservative A to B equals CD out here, that pattern would look like uh, this. So it has gapped up into that D point this morning with volume 10135, but I have to say the 10897 looks to uh, be like its next uh, target area out here. So Shutterstock looking uh, PDG out there. Pretty darn good. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks here that are just getting crushed. Let's go see if there's any volume behind their moves out here. You've got... Uh, Let's see, do we want percentage or do we want dollar-wise? Let's take the first, uh, the leader in the clubhouse on the way down is Velmont Industries. V as in Victor, M-I is the uh, ticker symbol. Let me see as the stock chart's coming up, what is behind the uh, move out here. So they generated $827 million versus 815. They beat the top line. When it comes to the uh, bottom line, I don't see it right here. Velmont Industries, they produce and sell fabricated metal products in the U.S., Australia, China, France, and internationally out here. And uh, they're getting hammered here this morning i don't uh, they ought to i don't know if they make hammers out here but they're and they're not making a hammer candle but they are down with volume so they're coming into this uh, swing point here its most recent uh, swing point low was uh, de uh february 5th only at 351,000 shares there you are trading almost into it you've already done 126,000 shares today so as far as uh this thing's got a high volume untested low out here at uh, october 18th that's in the 129 dollar mark out here you're trading right now at 145 so if it can take out that swing point, the most recent swing point, that's where it will likely head to. And that most recent swing point is February 4th, 141.74 out there. That is on Vel, excuse me, Velmont uh, Industries. Let's see. We've got uh, Financial Engines, Inc., FNGN is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what it is uh, doing. It is also getting crushed this morning. FNGN, it is down uh, 10% off uh, $6, coming into a, a swing point, uh, which would be your B point of a larger A to B equals CD down. Uh, financial engines, they are, let's see, uh, they provide independent technology enabled portfolio management service, and they're getting crushed here. Uh, the swing point that it's trading into is uh, February. February 5th, 600,000 shares. The low is 5466. You're trading in there. You're doing it already with uh, 310,000 shares. So it looks like that is going to uh, take out that swing point, and that would then give you an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside. So if it is able to do that, you're confirmed A to B equals CD on a financial engine. Says 4762, I say, more likely 4315. And what do we see at 4315 or around that area at 4368? to 4390 uh, what you see is a high volume bar out there and it looks like that is where financial engines is headed to let's see here fleet maddox just simply since i like fleetwood mac let's go take a look at fleet maddox f l t x is the uh, ticker symbol out here and uh 
That is down with uh, volume this morning. So it's coming into this thing. Last broke out, and that was on November the 7th. The breakout was 3 million shares. Geez, today you're coming into the breakout area with bigger volume. We've already done 2.4 million shares to the uh, downside. So let's see, where is this going to move to if it takes that out? Well, it would be a huge A to B equals CD down if it uh, can do it. So the uh, the key level here on uh, this is uh, I keep wanting to say Fleet the Fleet Maddox Group FLTX. The key the key level is going to be a price point of twenty nine dollars and ninety two cents. So this thing is either going to consolidate or it's going to take that out. And if it takes that out, it's pretty dangerous A to B equals CD down inside of this equity because it's a big one. It'll take you down to 2282, take you all the way back to this little hammer candle right back here from April 17th, 2013, out at about the 2114 level out there. Let's take a look here at, I'm uh, just looking percentage-wise, what's really moving here. National Cinematic, that's down 17% here this morning. Let's go see what it is doing. NCMI is the uh, ticker symbol, so they're down 3 bucks with big volume. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment to pull this back here. Boy, big wide-ranging bar taking out a, a swing point and a B point of an A to B equals CD down. That's the uh, low here from February the uh, 4th out here. Doing it with some big volume. So where is this thing headed? Oh, that's dangerous. This thing is looks like it's headed all the way back to October in 2011, somewhere right around the $11.69 range out there. You got the high volume low, 4 million shares down there. Looks like that is where this is called National Cinemedia Inc. is. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, a couple. Let's 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 switch back to the let's switch back to the positive side out here. Let's take a look at some of these stocks here that are popping. Did we take a look at Emeritus Corp? Give me a moment here. To, I don't want to duplicate any efforts and bore you or anything like that. No, we did not. So let's go take a look at that. That is popping to the upside here. That ticker symbol is uh, where'd it go? E S C, as in Charlie. And that is up a nice uh, thirty-seven percent. Oh man, was that a buyout? I don't know if I want to really look at that. That's a buyout. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, there again, that's a merge. That's the Brookdale merger. No reason for us to take a look at that. My apologies. Let's just, uh, let's just put that in reverse motion here out there. Let's take a look at uh, Strayer Education. That's not a buyout, I don't believe. That's S-T-R-A is the uh, ticker symbol. They're up 19%. They had a uh, loss of $19 million versus, uh, come on, maybe, come on, help me out here. Uh, versus uh, profit of $16 million. Boy, those there, they're, they're throwing money out the window, but the uh, uh, investors like it. S-T-R-A is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's go see what it is uh, doing up with some volume here this morning. No, wait a minute here. What the heck? There we go. Okay, so it is up with some uh, volume. Uh, right now it's got volume behind the move of 212,000 shares, but it has big downdraft out here. It'll find some pretty stiff resistance at the 4550 level. It's trading at 4068. 877 927 6648. up 25. SP's up 3. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow's up uh, 45, uh, probably due to be up about 145 by the end of the uh, day out here. If uh, if the uh, Euro Japanese yen is any indication as to uh, where the market is headed to uh, during that uh, breakout, there I wanted to uh, say, okay, sorry, go back and take a look at my intraday charts here, see what is uh, going on inside the uh, marketplace. Now, as you know, one of the uh, currency pairs or the currency pair that I uh, uh, pay attention to, and you should pay attention to it as well, is the Euro Japanese yen. You want to pay attention to it until it stops working, and right now it is the carry trade currency pair out there. So, and you only hear that here at TFNN. Thank, uh, thank goodness, I guess. Now we're taking a look at here as the 120 minute chart. Now, yesterday we were looking at the 120 minute chart here for the Euro Japanese yen. What I pointed out to you then was as the uh, euro had broken through this rising price channel, and it uh, came all the way back down and made a 100 percent move of the uh, swing point, which means it just came back into that area of the lowest, the previous low swing point. And that's the one that came in at nine o'clock in the evening. That was on February 16th. Now, when it came back there. It's not so much that it came back with a wide-ranging bar. It's these, uh, and this is where you know, you know the little subtlety of being able to help to read the message of the uh, market. It truly is the body of a candle that is the essence of price, and that means that that's really where I want your first focus to go is taking a look because that's the 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 uh, on any chart on any time frame, the wicks, the shadows, whichever, uh, uh, however you want to refer to them, they're nothing more than the emotional extremes out there, and the real essence of price and what's going on. 
on is really the open and the close of the uh, candle. It doesn't mean we can't get information from the wicks, from the uh, shadows, because we absolutely can. But it is truly the body of the uh, candle session out here. And when you get two small-bodied, three small-bodied, four small-bodied, I don't care how many it is, much like what we have here uh, that took place. That was at 5 a.m. That was at 7 a.m. out here. And then you get another wide-ranging bar out there. That's a very strong uh, pattern, very strong uh, three-river. It still, I don't care if it takes four or five, six candles, still called the three-river, uh, in this case here, morning star, because morning, because it's happening, you know, as the sun is uh, rising, if you will. And that's really sort of the meaning behind it. Now, what was happening here and what was taking place overnight, uh, uh, ever since really we pointed that out yesterday at 10, 11 o'clock in the uh, morning out here was price was trying to get back in to the rising price channel out here. And, and it did it. It just kept uh, continuing to be met with uh, selling out here. Maybe this 120-minute chart. So this 120-minute chart doesn't end until 11 o'clock. So this, uh, the, and I can't tell you how the next hour is going to play out. But what I can tell you is price has most certainly moved into the uh, rising price channel. It's done it with a wide-ranging bar. If it were 11 o'clock, it's 9.56 a.m right now and we were to end like this i could tell you most certainly that you're going to see higher prices in the uh, market uh, today out here it is options expiration so anything can happen but i will tell you that the euro japanese yen is back inside of its rising price channel and that is bullish not bearish on uh, the other and and as well what what you can see that it is doing it's taking it out your bearish patterns it's taking out your uh one point your point seven eight six uh gartley sell pattern uh that's an active pattern that pattern uh, worked. When that pattern fails, that turns into a, a butterfly. Uh, the butterfly expansion on that takes the euro Japanese yen uh, up to a minimum of uh, 142.54 out there. You then have this 1.272 butterfly, a smaller butterfly pattern uh, with the high, if it were to close right about, well, uh, it's pretty simple. If it closes above this high right here, which is the session from 1 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday, and that's at 140.86, that would be bullish that would say that these cell patterns here have failed and if those cell patterns fail well that uh, sets up a uh, move to much higher price inside the euro japanese yen and that would then presumably set up higher price inside of the uh, stock market so uh, just trade with stops folks and you'll be just fine out there stay tuned the nadex bull bear binary option hours up next it is fantastic friday thanks so much for spending your day with me your week with me have a great weekend i look forward to seeing you bright and early Monday morning. Take care, folks. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.